Okay, guys, it's teacher Anya. We're going to be learning some vocabulary in this lesson. Okay. So let's look at what our text topic is. So our topic is seasons change. So firstly, what are seasons? There's four. Do you remember what they are? Yeah, easy. Let's write them down. Okay. So we have summer, spring, okay, fall, or autumn, as you guys call it in China. And the last one is winter. Okay, so summer, spring, fall, and winter. We don't really say autumn in American English. You can say it. It's okay. Um, but most Americans say fall. Okay, so it's good to learn both. I know most Chinese say autumn, so it depends on what you are doing. But in America, we always say fall. Okay, so all right, so summer, spring, fall, and winter are our seasons. So there's four of them. So our topic is seasons change. So what do you think we're going to be talking about in this lesson a little bit? Yeah, how the seasons change, okay? So for example, in the fall, it goes from being very, very hot, right, because it's coming from summer, to being very, very cold and all the leaves fall down, right? And then at the end of fall, we have snow usually, right? Because winter is coming. So there's different ways that the seasons change, okay? So looking at this picture, what season is it? Yeah, it's winter. How do you know? There's snow. Okay, what else? It's really cold. They're wearing a lot of clothes. Okay, what else? Yeah, they're using a sleigh, okay, or a toboggan, what, whatever you want to call it, a sled. Okay, so they're playing in the snow. So there's, these are the ways that we can tell that it's winter time, okay, because in the winter time, we play in the snow. In the summertime, if we had snow, we'd probably play in it because it would help us get cooler, right, because summertime is so hot, okay? But in the wintertime, we always have snow. Okay, let's go over our phonics. We have two letters here, so let's say them together, B, 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 B. And this is a bat. Very good. L, 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 L. And this is a lemon. So sour and yucky. Okay, so that's a lemon. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to say the name of each picture. Okay, so let's say these together. This is a ball. Very good. Okay, this is a baseball. Okay, but a ball. This is a bed. Very good. This is a boy. This is a lion. This is a lamp. And this is a ladder, right? So a ladder, so we climb it. So all of these things either start with the letter B, 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 ba, 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 or L, 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 la, la, la. Okay, so let's read these again one more time. Ready? Go. What's this? Ball. Very good. What's this? Bed. Very good. What's this? Boy, good. What's that? Ladder. Very good. What's this? Lamp. What's this? Lion. Very, very good. Okay. So let's read each word. Okay. So bat. Good. Bed. Bib. A bib is like what a baby wears when it eats, so it doesn't get like stuff on its clothes. Okay. So bib. Bit. Let, lip, lab, and lit. Okay, so these are all things where we can read. So they're BBB or LLL sounds. Okay, so let's read them again one more time. Bat, bed, bib, bit, let, lip, lab, and lit. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right, let's look at these words to know, okay? So our words to know this week are is and little, okay? So let's read this sentence together. Fall is a beautiful season. Okay, I remember we're talking about the four seasons. So let's read it again. Can you read it out loud to me? Okay, fall is a beautiful season season. Okay, very good. Nice job reading there. Okay, so fall is a beautiful season. Very good. Okay, let's keep reading. Why is it beautiful? 
Yeah, because all the leaves change colors, right? It's lovely. It's really fun to look at, okay? The little bugs are cute, okay? So the little bugs are cute. Very good. Okay, can you read this sentence out loud to me? Nice job. The little bugs are cute. Very good. Okay, excellent job reading. Let's learn our new words. Okay, so our first word is active. Active. Okay, active means to be moving around a lot. Okay, so when you are active, you are moving around a lot. Okay, so when we move around a lot, we play with different things. Maybe we're running around. Maybe we're playing an instrument. So we're always moving when we're active, okay? So if I were sitting very still, would I be active? No, because I'm not doing anything. What if I was sleeping? No, not active, okay? So what are the different ways that you can think of to be active? Let's write some down. How do we move around? Do we walk? Yep, what else? Running, right? Very good. What else can we do that makes us active? Jumping, okay. We can also be active when we're doing other things. Studying, like what you're doing right now is very active. You're learning, you're using your brain. That takes lots of energy, okay? So maybe cooking, right? Or we can be active when we're playing, okay? There's a lot of ways that we can choose to be active, okay? And the more active we are, the more healthy we are because it helps our bodies, right? So if we move around a lot, we're very, very healthy, okay? All right, so that's active. Active just means to move around, okay? So we can say somebody is very active if they never sit still. Okay, so if you're always in your desk at school and you're like, blah, 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 you're very active, okay? Okay, let's look at this next word. I'm going to type for you how to say it. Okay, so we say this migrate, migrate, okay? And to migrate is to move from one place to another. Ah, doesn't fit. So annoying. Okay, let's write it somewhere else. Okay, to move from one place to another. Okay, so when we migrate, we move from one place to another. So birds migrate a lot. Why do they do that? Yeah, they're trying to stay where it's warm, right? So they might migrate down to, um, and some of them migrate like thousands of miles. They fly really far, okay? And they migrate to find food, or to have their babies. So there's lots of reasons that birds migrate. Birds are not the only animals that migrate, okay? A lot of land animals like elephants, they also migrate, usually because they're looking for food or water, okay? So remember, migrate just means to move. People can also migrate, okay? So if you move from one city to another city, you're migrating, okay? So Migrate just means to move from one place to another. It can be people or animals, okay? It's just moving around. So that's what migrate means, okay? So if you've ever moved from one city to a different city, you've migrated, okay? You probably weren't looking for food, but you probably had a reason that you moved, right? Okay. All right, here's our big word of the week, seasons. So seasons are... The four parts of the year. So once again, what are the seasons? We start with winter, and we go to spring, and then we go to summer, and then we go to fall. Okay, so we have the four seasons. How do we tell what season it is? Do you know? Yeah, so we can look at our picture. So if we look at this tree, it's fall. How do we know that? Because the leaves are yellow, right? They're a different color, okay? If we look at this tree, what season is it? Yeah, it's summer, right? How do we know? There's so many leaves on the tree, right? Okay, in winter, the tree would not have any leaves. So what are some of the different ways we can tell the seasons? How do we tell it's winter? Maybe it's cold and we have snow. Okay, what about spring? 
flowers and it gets really warm, right? What about summer? It's very hot, okay? All right, and lots of green. Everything is green in the summertime, right? Grass and trees and flowers, everything is green. Okay, what about fall? So you have colorful leaves and it's cool in the fall, right? Think about when you have mid-autumn festival. It's usually very cool, right? Okay, so these are the ways that we can tell the different seasons, okay? So there's lots of different things. I'm gonna erase this. But the seasons are the four parts of the year, okay? Okay, let's keep going. This is our one of our last words. Spot. Okay, so there's two ways that we can look at this word. So one of them is like a mark. So like a dog has spots, right? Little dots on it. But to spot means to see. Okay, so for example, giraffes are easy to spot. Why? Because they are so tall. Okay, so to spot means to see something, okay? So you might spot something in the sky or you might spot something really big like a giraffe, okay? So what would you spot in the sky at night? Yeah, you might spot the moon or stars, right? Okay, so to spot means to see something, okay? And usually to see something far away, all right? You can spot something nearby, but mostly... If you spot something, it's usually far away from you, okay? So giraffes, again, we can see a giraffe because it's easy to, hold on one second, we're gonna pause. Okay, so we're back. Sorry, I had to take a break because my coworker came in. Let's share our screen. Okay, we're back. So to spot something is to see something, okay? So it means that we can see something. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is a fun word, weather. Okay, so weather is, let's get our annotator back. Sorry, that was a big break. Okay, so weather is what happens outside, okay? Okay, so it might be something like snow or rain, let's spell rain the right way, or wind, okay? These are all weather. If it's hot, if it's cold, weather okay so weather is what's going on outside okay so anytime you're talking about oh it's so cold right or it's so hot today you're talking about the weather okay so weather is what happens outside all right so let's erase these words okay great so weather is what happens outside so the person that tells us about the weather okay in english is called the weather person Okay, so the weather person or Okay, so we can call them the weather person or the really fancy way to say this in English is a meteorologist. And I'm not going to spell it for you because I don't know how to spell it the right way, but you can look it up. So meteorologist is a really fancy way of saying somebody who talks about weather. So sometimes at night when you watch the news, I bet you you see the weather people talking about what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. And that's really helpful because it tells us what we can wear, right? So we're not gonna wear a coat if it's really hot, right? So yeah, so weather, um, a weather is what is happening outside and weather person is a person who tells us about that weather, okay? All right, cool, let's review. That's our last word. Okay, so easy, so what's the weather? Yeah, it's what happens outside, very good, excellent. Who tells us about the weather? The weather person, look how excited he is about the weather, right, oh my God. Okay, what does spot mean? Spot means to see something, okay? So what can we spot in the night sky? The moon, right? Okay, is a giraffe easy or hard to spot? It's easy, right? Okay, so it's very easy to spot. Okay, let's talk about the seasons. What are seasons? There's four of them, and they are the parts of our year. Very good. Can you name the four seasons? What's the first one? Winter, right? Starts in January. What's the second one? 
springtime, very good. Third one is summer, my favorite season. And the last one is fall, right? When things get cold and the leaves turn different colors, okay? So the seasons are the four parts of our year. Okay, cool. Migrate means what? To move from one place to another place. Who can migrate? Birds, animals, and people can migrate, okay? Even fish migrate. Whales actually migrate a lot. So fish, mammals, birds, people, everybody migrates. Migrate just means to move from one place to a different place, okay? Okay, lastly, our word is active. So is active sitting very still? Is active moving around a lot and getting crazy? Yeah. So active is any way that we move our bodies, okay, or we do something, okay? So if you're playing with your toys, if you're running, if you're studying, you are being really active, okay? So there's different ways to be active. All right, we're at the end of our lesson. Sorry about the pause in the middle. My boss can't talk to me. Okay, so... I want you to take your time and learn this vocabulary. It's really important because we're going to use it a lot in the future in our coming reading. Okay. And we use it a lot in English in general. So it's good to stay and study this vocabulary. All right. So I will see you next time and we will read some stories. Okay. And maybe we'll use these new words. So put them into your brain really good. Okay. All right. Good job today. See you next time. All right. Bye-bye.